Dyer Report with Gwyn Dyer. Canada's involvement with the rebuilding of Afghanistan continues. Last week, Peter McKay met with his Afghani counterpart, Reagan Sponta. Mr. Sponta is so thrilled by our efforts, he wants his country's name changed to Afghanada. <laughs> Despite McKay's optimism, many feel Afghanistan is in such a chaotic state, the only person qualified to reconstruct this country is Mike Holmes. <laughs> By 2011, Canada will have pumped one billion dollars into Afghanistan. Some of that money went to fix the country's fire trucks. <laughs> Luckily, they were cheap to repair. Our military saved money by using spare parts from Sea King helicopters. <laughs> now, this vocational school is another example of Canadian money hard at work. Inside here, these boys are busily making official Avril Lavigne earplugs. <laughs> In another gesture of support, Mr. McKay presented the Afghan police with 1,500 winter jackets under the promise they be returned to the Canadian Army should it snow in Toronto. <laughs> it wasn't all work for Mr. McKay there. Before leaving, he got to meet Afghanistan's greatest Stompin' Tom Connors impersonator. And during his stay, McKay learned the Taliban would agree to a ceasefire under the condition they get the rights to the new Afghani game show, Deal or No Goat. <laughs> Unfortunately, the deal fell through when they heard the show would still be hosted by Howie Mandel. <laughs> In these dire times, I'm Gwyn Dyer. <laughs>